45. Hey, check it out. This is Eminem, and the streets is watching. The affiliates have taken over the wheel. Right here on the streets is watching on Shade 45. That Kendrick Lamar, ATL right now, baby. I'm all the way from the west side. With my homie Drum, you dig that? Family, my nigga. What's happening? A1, what's, what's A1 about? A1 and it's about everything. Getting it and getting it how you live, you dig that? What's up, my nigga? Feeling good, man. Shout out to Kendrick Lamar in the yeah. building, man. Um, Now, I was just listening to that song and, uh -huh. you know, very impeccable bars on there. Appreciate it. Um, you and me, definitely, like, I know in the studio, you know, when I think about um, uh, New Cats coming up, you know, you guys are, are, are two of the ones that lyrically are, are, are really coming through. Right. Who does Kendrick Lamar, like everybody when I talk to them, they, they say, oh, yo, I listen, like Kendrick is the type of guy I listen to yeah. that that's what I need to hear, that type of shit. Who do yeah. you, wh who's doing that for you right now? Other than the cats in my camp, Schoolboy, Abso and J-Rock, outside the camp, it'll probably be, um, as of right now, I'm bumping Gunplay. Hmm. I'm playing two chains right now. I'm playing two yeah, chains. Yeah, it's like the energy, man, the energy of everything. And, and you know, they got, you know, of course, the, the, the verses is, is crazy, but it's just like the feel and the rawness in, in hip hop. You know what I mean? I feel like that part of the game is really coming back. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have you and two chains done a um, song together yet? Nah, I um, and, uh, discussions, talks, because everybody has a feature uh -huh. in 2 Chains. We'd love to see Kendrick Lamar feature in 2 Chains. God willing, respect to both of them dudes. God willing, for sure. Um, congratulations, man, on all the success. You've had a fantastic year, fantastic year and a half uh, since Section 80 came out. Yes, sir. You guys are really moving very heavy. I see you out here. Shout out to Punch. Shout out to the whole yeah. TDE family. It's looking good. Now, I, I saw um, on POV the other day, you mentioned that you you was, you was had a deal at Def Jam? Yeah, something like that, like a small little situation where it could have fell through. Okay. Like a development deal. Uh -huh. I was 17, 16, actually. I think Jay was just about to get out of office. Jay was just about to leave. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. and, um, it was one of them situations where, man, you know, Jay Brown took me in. Shout out to Jay Brown. Play some music and he found interest, but I wasn't ready. You wasn't ready. I was a kid, man. Mm -hmm. Well, you, that, that was when you was going by K Dot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why the, Why the name switch? I just felt like you know the artist that I wanted to be was somebody that you know that people can actually feel and relate to. Mm -hmm. You dig what I'm saying with the, the story about me growing up in the whole city. I felt like you know the best artists in the world is people that you know actually gravitate toward their story and actually can say you know that's me. Mm -hmm. So I said you know what I want to wake up. I woke up one morning. I said. The best thing I can do is start giving these people me is, you know, giving them my, my name and, and what my moms call me rather than what the homies call me. That's right. K dot. Mm -hmm. Homies call me that. That's when I grew up in the neighborhood in Compton. My moms call me Kendrick, straight up. Kendrick Lamar. Straight up. Yeah. Um, Interscope Records. Um, I, I feel like you it's it's been in the makings for a minute, you know. Right. I mean you guys just recently uh, came out and, and said, you know, you did the deal over at Interscope, but yeah. is, is there a certain reason because, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but you've been signed over there for a, for a little, little while now. Not too long. Not too long. Not too long. Probably like within the past seven months, six months. And was that a, a situation with, with Dre being in the building and in your relationship that, it, you know, just felt like the best place for you? Yeah, man. You know, the, the hardest thing about being with a major is them having your best interest and knowing your vision and right. your goal for it what you're trying to do and what you're trying to accomplish. Uh -huh. Dig that. And um, when Section 80 drive, I was getting offers everywhere. You know, Crazy. To, to the point where the money, it wasn't even about the money. It was about who got the vision properly. And, okay. You know, what I already done myself with the with the groundwork. And Dre understood that because he come from that era of not, you know, having nothing and starting aftermath and starting all the way over. Dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So he respect the movement, respect the music, and you know respect me more as a, a person with a vision rather than just somebody that can make a hit record. Mm -hmm. You know, so it was only right. Um, so with that being said, what do you say to the critics that say Kendrick Lamar, great artist, great MC, 
but I don't know if he's gonna give us a record for the radio, yeah. mainstream radio, or a record for the club. <laughs> I think that's like some of the, you know, me, my thing on critics is, you know, you gotta prove yourself to the world anyway. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So I don't listen to nothing like that. You know, I continue to keep doing what I'm doing. I don't go in the studio and say, I'm gonna make a hit record off this beat, off this, you know, style and what's popping on the radio. You know what I'm saying? I go in the studio and just do me. And I think that's all I can do. You know what I'm saying? And eventually, you know, I will be amongst the elite when you talk about the Jay Z's and, you know, Nas and people that have longevity in their career. That's what it's really about at the end of the day. A hit record is not only going to get you so far. You dig what I'm saying? Kendrick Lamar, 888 Shade 45. Hit us up if you got questions. Speaking of hit records, let's get into this right now. Dr. Dre, Kendrick, the recipe, you already know. What's up? Radio. <laughs> Kendrick Lamar in the building, DJ Drama, Trent said since the, Were y'all all together when y'all did that? Yep. Yeah, it's that feel. Yep. That, that doesn't feel like one of those remixes that Who's in verses the studio? get sent in. Yeah. No, who's in the studio vibing? Um, y'all been doing, y'all been together for for a while now. Yeah. And it, and it feels like now it's like everybody is coming into they into they lane and and, and getting exactly. a lot of attention and uh. The plan. Yeah, it worked out. Yeah, man. Why is Schoolboy Q the new Puffy? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you caught that. <laughs> uh, he's Puffy because. He's getting the attention where he can throw money around uh -huh. and just act crazy yeah. and do the puffy things that puffy do. Yeah. So when Simple. he so when he gets some more paper, he's he's out of here. Yeah. I don't know what to call. He's diddy. punch you close on that. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's diddy. Um, what was I gonna say? You and, and I did an interview with him a, a couple months ago. Yeah. And it seems like you're more of the kind of laid back, reserved. Yeah. He's kind of more upbeat and. Yep. You know, ready to jump around and yep. get to it. What's yep. Ab, what's Ab Soul like? Ab Soul is the the thinking genius. Okay. I stand in the corner by itself and just think, and then come out and say whatever he has to say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, y'all been rocking with the Black Hippie movement yeah. for a minute. Right. It kind of seems like it even you know as it came, it all made sense. You know, um, TDE such as yourself, right. Black Hippie movement. You know, then then. ASAP and and those guys and and Wiz and and so forth and it yeah you know did you did you know did y'all all, all kind of move around and, and and be familiar with each other and, and know that this new generation was kind of happening and you yeah. know not just worried about feeling like we got to be sh two street for streets right no we 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 noticed that we noticed that it was a new type of a lifestyle going on in LA uh -huh. more than anything where these kids out here want to be their own individuals. You dig what I'm saying? Okay. So when they look at us being our, ourselves, you know, they're going to follow the movement and follow suit with what we got going on. Okay. And we noticed that from the jump, then we put the music behind that. Mm -hmm. You know, so now we got the whole coast behind our back and everybody else around the world, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. that's how it was. Um, I got to ask you a hot topic right now. Um, Obama came out in support of gay marriage. Yeah. Jay-Z has already uh, given his uh, approval as well as Floyd Mayweather. Then on the other hand, Pacquiao kind of had some issues the other day right. for saying what he felt. What's your uh, stance and your thoughts on that? You know what's crazy, man? I don't give a fuck <laughs> about people doing what they got to do. And mm -hmm. That's your lifestyle, you dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And, you know, people go be their own individuals and have their own morals, and I can't, I can't knock it. Mm -hmm. You know, I believe in Jesus. Mm -hmm. Just because if you didn't believe in Jesus, I can't knock you from that. You got your own beliefs and, you know, your own morals. I can't help the way you was born if you was gay, mm -hmm. and I can't change that. So do what you got to do to be happy. Fuck it, man. It's fucking 2012. People need to stop crying <laughs> over the bullshit, you know what I mean? Do you plan on voting? No, nah, I'm not voting. You're not voting? I don't vote. Did you vote last time? Nope. Okay. Um, were, you, were you old enough to vote last time? Uh, I think I was. Oh, okay. I didn't vote. Okay. I nah. Um, uh, uh, one of my favorite songs, Keisha's song. Yeah. Who's that about? Keisha's song, a particular girl in Compton, on a street called Lone Beach Boulevard. Okay. Uh, I went to school with her, and um, this this strip is like basically known. It's like it's right by Compton's Y Me. Okay. For prostitution. Uh -huh. And this was one particular girl I went to school with, and I seen her out there doing what she was doing. Wow. And I didn't even know it was her. Wow. Yep. Went and, and wrote until, it. Yeah, I seen her, and then I went and wrote it, you know. I think she heard it, too. Is that, and her name's Keisha? Yeah. 
So, yeah, she probably knew it was her. Mm -hmm. um, 88 Shave, 45 cents. You got that? Let's get into that, man. Look, listen, the phone line's open. If you want to speak to Kendrick Lamar, hit us up right now. Plus, we're on that Twitter, at DJ Drama, at Kendrick Lamar, at DJ Sense. Let's do it. I think I want to just keep the momentum focus on the album. Okay. That's that's my initial, you know, ideal plan. What about but I got so many records, man. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. I got one from you. It's crazy. Yeah. So, I know you got some. Yeah. What, what about a video? Is there a video for Recipe? No, not yet. In the works. Okay. In the works. You getting Dre out out in in the fresh air again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was the most exciting thing about Coachella, just to see him breathe, you know, regular yeah, you people know, air. You know, Dre is a, a lab rat scientist. He would stay in that studio, boy, forever and just pump out crazy beats, lyrics, everything. What's it like working with him? Make you up your game. I is it intimidating? Mm -mm. It's not intimidating. It's more exciting than anything. From Jump Street, it was never intimidating for I you. I was nervous. Uh huh. I was excited, man. I felt like I had to. The first time I got in the booth and Dre behind the board, I felt like I had to put it, everything that I worked for on the line right there on that mic. So I was more excited than anything. So anything he was like, run it back, boom, do that. I was on it. Mm -hmm. I was on it because I was prepared. I didn't develop for years, man. And how was the initial um, introduction between the two of y'all? Um, as far as I'm reaching out. Yeah. I was on the last day of the Tech Nine tour, man. Okay. Crazy. They called our lead phone, mm -hmm. our engineer. Mm -hmm. We thought it was a prank. It was like, you know, Dre been interested in this kid named Kendrick Lamar. You, you with him? He seen Ignorance is Bliss. That was the video he seen. Mm -hmm. And um, they called a few times. We're like, damn, this really real. Got in the studio the next week. We banged out records. Records just really locked in for like four or five days. Do you ask him a lot of questions or does he tell a lot of stories? I got to. Uh -huh. I ask too many questions. Yeah. He's probably tired of me right now. Because you know, certain times you get around certain people that have been in the game and it's like you yeah. could listen to them talk all night. And Man, I'm a fan first. You know what I mean? So me asking these questions, these is like real things. I always want to know as far as the, the chemistry with mm -hmm. him and Snoop and mm -hmm. how these records were made. And he, he blurred them out too. Secrets. Um, speaking of being a fan, I'm assuming... Uh, you're a Laker fan. Yeah. Come on, man. It's looking kind of tough. Yeah. Those we'll, old bodies. <laughs> we'll pull it through, man. Can and them old bodies up there. See, mm. I'm going to put Punch on the mic right now, man. <laughs> You know what I mean? So he can break everything down for you. Nah, Punch left. He don't want that. He <laughs> he, did, he left the room already. He knew it was coming. <laughs> Low key analyst. Right, um, what about the Clippers? Clippers, they done, yeah. Are, are you a fan or are you just. I'm not going to hop on the bandwagon. I, I can respect they, that. But, you know, I'm not going to say I was day one Clipper. Are there people in LA that have been Clipper fans? Yeah.